look at flowers. Uh, go walking. Oh, catch Pokemon. Fortunately, there's much more to do in Fort Canning Park than you think. Here's a quick tip. Take the route from Joby Ghat because there's a bunch of fun things to do along the way. Once at Joby Ghat MRT Station, follow the signs to Istana Park. I never knew that there was this little tucked away garden. Explains why these guys hang around here to paint. Okay, I think I need a little help with getting in touch with my creative side. Good thing there's an exhibition spot nearby. There are always really cool pieces around here. And you don't have to pay to have a look around. Oh, I'm starting to get really excited! This type of undisturbed land and serenity is hard to come by in this part of town. Worried about ending up walking around aimlessly? Five DIY trails will surely keep you occupied. Grab a map from one of the visitor centers or just look it up on the MParks website. These will take you to all the best parts of the park, which mostly happen to be very photo worthy, so snap away. Don't forget to tag MParks on their Facebook and Instagram pages. I'm not much of a history buff, but fortunately, they make history really stand out here in the battle box. This was the actual underground command center where the decision was made to surrender Singapore to the Japanese. This once top secret bomb-proof headquarters is now a museum that unveils the true causes of the British defeat back in 1942. And after a day out with nature and its history, we're really fortunate to have a few air-conditioned spots both nearby and within the park that cater to any of your dining references. Options here vary far and wide. So get over here for goodness sake! Log on to this website for more information on the park. And remember to follow M Parks on their Facebook and Instagram pages as well. See you soon!